Okay guys, so starting this video off first thing in the morning, a little bit of posing and today was something needed to happen when it comes to lighting and being able to see how I look because now I look worse and worse and worse at the spot that I used to take pictures and you know if I'm gonna look halfway decent I need to understand how I look so I look in the mirror get one uh, impression then I do the posing and you know I look like shit complete shit I can show you a couple of uh, trial and errors to, to see if it can look a little bit better but it looked like crap so uh, very unhappy but luckily for me my new bathroom is ready or close to ready so we have those black tiles that you want uh, you want black background when you're posing so uh, set up this uh, posing light and uh, did some posing first in this wall then on this wall it's a little bit tight but uh, we managed to get some good pictures and get some real uh, conditioning or take a look at the uh, real conditioning so uh, that was good very happy with that now i'm gonna make my first meal and uh, i'm gonna show you guys what i eat uh, when i'm doing no carbs or close to no carbs because i'm putting in a little bit here and there so stay tuned for meal one guys so meal one as promised 250 grams of chicken, green beans, spinach, broccoli, a little bit of carrot. I actually measured the carrot today. I usually just take a half carrot. Uh, it was 40 grams. So if you say that uh, on 100 grams of carrots, it's 15 grams of uh, carbs. This is uh, not enough to pull me out of ketosis. Because now that I've done zero carbs for five days, I think. And the day before that, a couple of days before that, was so low carbs, uh, it goes a little bit quicker into ketosis. And for you guys that don't know, ketosis is uh, when your brain switches from using glucose uh, as an energy source, main energy, energy source, <laughs> blah, to fat as its main uh, energy. So when that switch happens, uh, you usually get tired and you sleep a little bit then you wake up feel a little bit better uh, i feel a lot better uh, when it comes to the social part of day-to-day uh, -day life uh, i can talk i don't get uh, as tired as i used to uh, training has taken a toll uh, in a different way that you think uh, it's difficult to explain Plain, so I'm gonna do that in a diff uh, different video but uh, for now uh, very happy uh, very happy with posing today uh, I finally get some footage that I'm happy with and you know it's 20 days out so I have uh, a little bit of time to push and uh, today's weight after posing was 102.5 meaning that I'm a half kilo over uh, weighing uh, and that won't be a problem because I will push uh, low carbs, no carbs uh, for most of the times that's left and uh, go for conditioning, conditioning, conditioning this time and uh, hopefully that will pay off. Uh, when it comes to the amount of drink, <laughs> the amount of water I'm drinking and things like that, I do still keep them separate. So I eat and wait 15 to 30 minutes before I start drinking again. It's just the amount that's changed. So I drink a lot in between meals, but I keep them separate just to make sure that I uh, digest my food good enough. So remember to chew your food good and uh, keep water out of the uh, meal. I think that's everything for meal one. Uh, we're gonna do cardio after this meal just because we're a little bit late today uh, with all the posting and everything. Uh, I got uh, probably one hour later than I usually eat and I'm gonna do cardio after that. It's just, uh, it's okay actually because the days are so long now. I wake up all, all through the night and um, today was a good day, same a good day. I slept for one hour at a time, had like 30 minutes in between uh, naps, whatever you wanna call it. It's very weird if you haven't been there. 
uh, you're so stressed that they can't sleep. Uh, you wake up and I'm waking up sweaty, thirsty, drinking, everything is a mess, but I'm just gonna get through these days and be happy with the result. So uh, let me eat, let me get back to you after cardio and for the next uh, meal, because I'm having three meals like this today and two meals with ground beef. It's as simple as it gets. So uh, we get back to the diet in the next meal. See you there. Came a couple of changes in the plans today. Just one meal before I hit the gym and started legs, did hamstrings. Main objective this prep or this prep this year really was bring up hamstring and glutes. And we've done that, uh, focusing almost every workout on hamstring and glutes. But of course, you need those details in the quads. So uh, we did hamstring, now we're going to focus a little bit on uh, quads, probably the last heavy quad dominant uh, day. So we're going to squat, barbell of course, 20 days out it's going to be painful, it's going to be heavy. Hamstring already felt awful, no power at all, so we'll see if I can pull, pull a rabbit out of somewhere. Okay, so if you want to leave a comment, guess how much I'm gonna do in the barbell squat today. Zero carbs for five days, effed in between the ears, and real, real, real tired. So we'll see how it goes. So we're up to 190 kilos. Uh, you may ask why I'm doing this. I don't know. Probably because of the thing is fun. I think it's, you know, every day is a challenge now and if I can make it a little bit harder and succeed at making it harder and, you know, almost thriving through the hard times, I know I will be better. So, uh, we'll do 190 now, two days after a strongman, so uh, my hips ain't very fond of me right now, but I don't care. Sounds cool, huh? And we'll see how it goes. If it feels bad, I ain't gonna push it, but we can pull up the shorts and show some veins and striations, maybe.
little bit heavy. So five reps, one post. It's at least looking like I'm training legs. So that's good. Now we're gonna pump them up, make them look decent for the show. I'm doing one leg at a time, almost no weight, but just focusing on the quads, letting the hip rest a little bit because I got strong on this weekend too, so need to keep them fresh. Probably not tired, probably gonna hit hamstring and glutes on Thursday, I think, but that's another story. When it comes to this and focusing on the quads, you wanna bring your knee up, your ankle to your ass, almost like a tricep extension. So if you bring your ankle, then bring your elbow back and your arm in. So, Toes pointing out. So mostly the knee joint that works. Training the legs for 10 years. Of course, the lighting right here is as bad as it gets, so you won't see shit. But one day you will understand what I mean. And actually, my left leg is better than my right when it comes to side leg the details which is weird, but... but down in this basement with that camera that I have uh, you don't see details at all I don't know why uh, it's only in sunlight it works great I don't know if it's some adjustment to the camera I could make but it doesn't work so either I need to buy a new camera or find something uh, that looks a little bit better now we're doing some form of squats knees forward almost like a sit squat and focusing on the stretch so let's see if you understand what i mean knees knees will travel a little bit forward but as we stay at the same spot so try to keep your spine as straight as possible and don't push your ass back because then you activate glutes and hips and you will not focus that much on the quads so Full stretch to keep the load on the muscle all the time. Set. Then we're going to do one extreme set. 
because it's not a lot of weight we're gonna do like uh, probably 50 to 100 reps i don't know i haven't done this machine in ages because i haven't really uh, put a focus on my quads so uh, we just fast forward and see how many we will get like i said knees will travel up focusing on the quads four o'clock now I'm all only eating one meal and that was meal you saw with chicken and vegetables and you know I do have my shake after my training uh, 50 grams of whey protein but uh, that doesn't make a dent uh, it just makes me hungry really because I think some of the proteins is uh, converted into glucose and it kind of spikes a little bit of a blood sugar response and make me a little bit more hungry so on my way back, I almost chew my own arm off because I was uh, feeling it. So just rushed back home, haven't done anything. I just cooked my ground beef. It's 5% fat, uh, half a kilo. I make two meals of this and it will be uh, a little bit of taco spice. That does have a little bit of carbs in it, but uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's less than four grams. So all in all, uh, no problem with that. I'll add uh, lettuce and cucumber, some sriracha and some olive oil. I keep all the meals around 20 grams of fat and 60 grams of uh, protein. Uh, that being said, uh, the sources that you choose your fat from uh, usually, or like I said before, it's like you want organic fats, but uh, it's no crisis at this point if you eat uh, fat sources that ain't organic because it's a lot more expensive usually so uh, i'll split this one uh, away after i cook it too because uh, 500 grams end up being 400 grams pretty quick when you cook it but i want it to be exactly the same so i have two meals that's exactly the same so two meals of ground beef and lettuce three meals of chicken and more simple than that can you know you can make a diet more simple than that so uh, leg session today was great uh, not a lot to say i'm a little bit stressed because i'm so effing hungry so if it's nothing more today i'm gonna leave you guys with uh remember to subscribe and remember to like and i will see you pretty soon i think